Ottawa's growing clean technology sector got a big boost today. Stittsville-based Minova Energy has landed a $6 million pilot project that will allow it to show off its solar power system. As Danny Globerman reports, it's a huge opportunity for the company because the customer is the world's largest retailer, Walmart. The sun is shining on Minova Energy in more ways than one. After 10 years in development, its solar arrays now are starting to attract some real attention. We are a small company and for, for Walmart to, uh, to effectively endorse what we're doing or to, to allow us to be a demonstration in their, uh, in their stores means that uh, a lot more uh, a lot of other companies are going to take a look at us. Walmart and the Ontario government are splitting the six million dollar cost of installing one of Minova's solar arrays on the roof of a yet to be named Walmart store somewhere in the province. With the rising price of oil, Walmart is serious about reducing its energy costs. So if it likes the product, this could end up being a very valuable foot in the door for Minova. We looked good at hundred dollars a barrel, 130, we're looking even better. Until now, solar panels, which absorb light directly, have been the best known way to harness the sun's energy. Minova, though, says it has a better way. So this is how the Minova system works. Sunlight comes in and hits these reflective panels, which then concentrate the light onto photovoltaic cells. Those cells then convert the light into electricity, which goes onto the grid and back into the store. Or by running water over the cells, you can heat that water for the store. The panels work like a magnifying glass, concentrating all the sun's energy and getting more out of it. People are calling us. We don't have to spend an awful lot of, of time and energy on marketing. People are coming to us. They've heard about what we do. They see us at shows, and, and they're, they're desperate for solutions. Minova is predicting its system will cut the Walmart store's electricity use by 30 to 50 percent, and that will just improve as the photocells become better. In the meantime, it's planning another installation soon for a company in Beaverton, Oregon. Its name? Nike. The future is definitely looking bright. We say jokingly there's never a dull day even when it's cloudy. Incredibly bright. Danny Gloverman, CBC News, Ottawa.